Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Yureli and today we're going to be cash stuffing $719. We are cash stuffing the cash envelopes. Also, we are finishing up saving up for our August bills, which I like to pay most of them on the first. So today we're going to complete all of those envelopes and let's get started. So we as a reminder i do use a combination of real money and prop cash i use real money for our cash envelopes and i use prop money for the bills because i just keep that money in the bank okay so let's go ahead and get started we are starting off with 100 dollars in our groceries envelope and obviously I use prop, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, they're not gonna take prop money. Uh, real cash for this. Okay, my son will get $15, that's 10 and five. He still has money in here. So he has 10, 20, 25, 30. Dates is also getting $15. Um, this month has been awesome. <laughs> I'm glad it's over. <laughs> or nearing the end. Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> we have been so focused on childcare is getting $100 and that's in 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm going to switch this here. I don't normally care about crispy bills or nasty bills but I use this to pay our sitter so uh, <laughs> you know just trying to be considerate so 20 40 60 80 there you go what 20 40 60 80 100 this one there we go anyway I was saying um one, I'm glad that this month is over because we've been so, so focused on saving for the house where like, I feel guilty anytime we spend money. Um, so, I mean, there's pros and cons to that. So, I'm getting 15. So, 10 and 15. So, there's pros and cons to that, but I'm glad that we're going into August. We're setting a new goal. It's still going to be a good goal, but it's not going to be as crazy. So, we have 10, 15, 16, 17. Um, the reason July's was so high is because it's a five paycheck month. I'm looking forward and September is also going to be a five paycheck month, but it's also my son's birthday month. So, um, we're going to set a high goal again, but not as high as July. So it was not getting anything that $10 just stays in there. And then if you saw my budget with me yesterday, you saw that I put money towards our buffer and I kind of explained it in that video. So today we're putting $10. I'm going to use this envelope as a reminder to take this to the bank that it's not really for me to spend <laughs> for me. It's for me to take back to our buffer account. So there's $30 for that. As a reminder, this was a gift. The envelope was a gift from my friend D over at D versus debt. And the paperclip is a gift from my friend Mimi at make up your plan. So all right, so let's go ahead and keep going here. These are the rest of my cash envelopes. These are cash envelopes that I don't keep in my wallet. Those other ones are the ones that I keep in my wallet. And these ones are the ones that I keep at home and I unstuff uh, when I need to. So my husband is going to also get $15 today. And he has money in here. So he has 10, 20, 25, and 30. And this is the last paycheck of the month, so I'm going to go ahead and give this to him. Obviously, he's been dipping into this during the month, so this is what he has left. My son is in my wallet. Um, well, my son's envelope is in my wallet, not my son. You know what I mean. So gas today is going to get $60. So 20 dollars 40 $60 in gas. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 235. We are getting both of our oil changes tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. So 
Oh yeah, and then in this paper clip I have $70 because the tags on my car are about to expire in September. So um, we had extra money in here at one point, so I just clipped that off. So anyway, I got gas and we're getting oil changes. So that's going to take a good chunk of that money. Childcare was in my wallet. Mine was in my wallet. And his and hers is in here. And this gets $15. There we go. And that's it for this binder. All right, next is the savings challenge binder. Here we go. And last week revealed that we're doing $25. So we're doing 20 and 5. So this has 20, 40, 45, and $50. Yay! Okay, so let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't know how much this one is going to end up being. When you buy these from my shop, I have learned <laughs> that on the back I will put like either the, the denominations that you requested or the like total amount that you requested. So I'll put information on yours in the back so that you know in case you order multiples, you'll know which one is which. Um, and then also yours will be printed. Mine are handwritten because I printed them blank. But yeah, anyway, so this one is mine. They're all like one of a kind. Um, so let's do this one today. $10. Okay, let's do this one. $15. Let's do one more. 15 So 10 15 30 So that is what we are doing next week. Okay, so that's that one. This one I'm skipping. This one is the one that is funded from my personal cash. But I want to keep some money in my wallet. I'm going to need um, a September monthly kit here pretty soon. So I want to make sure that I have money to pay for that. So I'm keeping that there. Oh, I didn't even pull out my G-Bucks and L-Bucks. All right, I did not have very many this time. So I just have one G-Buck to put in here. Oh, it's the end of the month. So let's count this. Nice. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 49 dollars. Nice. If you are new here, hi. I think a lot of channels are doing this now, so I don't think it's brand new information, but in case it is brand new to you, the, num the $1 bills in the United States are uh, stamped here with a letter from A through L, and I keep the ones that are marked with the letter G. Let me just show you. I keep the ones that are marked with the letter G and I save those for possibly one day going to a planner conference called Go Wild. So that's what that is. Do you hear my baby? <laughs> it is, what time is it? 3.42 in the morning. He has not gotten up yet. Oh, he's up now. Okay, I need to wrap this up. So he has one, two, three, four that I'm adding this week. So for July, he has collected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25 dollars. Wow, I think that's the most in a month that we've done so far. As a reminder, I will be counting all of the L-Bucks that we've collected over the period of 12 months at the end of August or beginning September so that we can finish out August. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. All right, that is it for this binder. And we are wrapping up with our okay, with our bills binder here. So rent is gonna get $200. So that is one and two. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty, eight sixty. 80 and 900 dollars i am gonna go <laughs> take care of my baby all right i'm back and we're <laughs> we're gonna try something okay so we have 900 dollars in rent is what we said there we go <laughs> hi bud okay 
So PUD is not getting anything. That one is done and we should have $94 in here. So we have 50, 70, 80, I mean 84, 81, 82, 83, 84. We should have $84. Our bill came out to $83.11. Yeah, do you remember that? Okay, uh, Verizon today is getting $10. So we're adding $10 to this, and we're doing 50, 150, 60, 70, 80, and 90, $190. Good, good, good. I like to pay our bills on the first of the month. So either I pay them physically on the first of the month, or I have them scheduled for auto pay on or around the first of the month. So Safeco is not getting anything. We should have 146. We have 50, 70, 90, 110. 120, 130, 140, 45, 46. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Please excuse the, the toot machine over here. <laughs> so in our debt and small bills, we are adding a $94. So that's 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 50, 1, 50, 2, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 330, 335, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 341 dollars. And this is going to cover things like our car payment, our uh, Wi-Fi, my Cricut subscription, monthly fee, my Canva monthly fee, both of our life insurance policies, things like that. So that is good. Okay, we have everything that we need to pay all of our bills on the first of the month. What do you think, mister? <laughs> I think he's concentrating on other things over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right guys thank you so much for being here today thank you for spending time with me i um i will be back on tuesday for sure with our sinking funds cash stuffing i am taking monday off because monday is my birthday so i just figured i'd stay home with this little dude here and um so i might, may or may not go live for on monday um uh, Oh dear. <laughs> okay, we gotta wrap it up. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you on Tuesday for sure. Okay, bye.